Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. What is Manoj Roy? 9.3 question number 7 onward, the inverse function. We have the equation fx equals to a upon x minus 1 plus b. And we have to find the first thing is required is what value of x, like here. Let's get the value of x for f is not defined. Actually, uh, normally when you write a function, the condition of function is what? That in the denominator, it should not be 0. So, what value should I put here to get 0? Like, if I substitute 2, 2 minus 1 is 1. But if I substitute 1, 1 minus 1 is 0. So, it means x minus 1 equal to 0. And x equals to 1. So, x, like, state the value of x which is not defined. So, this is the value of x which is not defined. So, x cannot be equals to, x cannot be equals to 1. Okay. Given that f of 2 is 3, so I will substitute first of all a 2 minus 1 plus b. Now, f of 2 is 3, so I will write here only 3 is equals to a upon 2 minus 1 is 1, which I do not need to write, and I make a as a subject, 3 minus b, this is equation number 1. Okay. Uh, second part is f of 3 is 2. So, f of 3 is 2 means I will substitute 3 first of all a upon 3 minus 1 plus b. f of 2 is equals to 2. So, 2 equals to a upon 2 minus 1 is 3 minus 1 is 2 plus b. This 2, the easiest method is what? Multiply by 2, the LCM. This will become 4 is equals to a plus 2b. Now, I need to substitute this value of a in this equation, so it will become, uh, it will become a, like 4 is equals to, a is 3 minus b, n plus 2b, so 2b minus b is only b, 4 minus 1 is like b is coming, 1, and b, I can substitute here, so a is equals to 3 minus 1, so, A is coming to, we got the value of A and B. So, the function is now f of x is equals to A upon A is 2, 2 upon x minus 1 and B is 1. So, this is the required equation first of all. Now, what the required? Okay, we got the value of A and B. This is the first part. Show that f of f is equals to x. Very simple. I will put the whole equation of f in the like the same equation in the place of x. So f f of x is equals to q upon in the place of x I will put the whole value the whole equation actually the whole equation is what this one two upon x minus one and plus one. We just need to simplify now, and when we simplify, it should be 2. So let's see. First of all, in the bracket, the LCM is coming x minus 1, and 2 plus this will multiply by this is x minus 1. This is the bracket one, and minus 1 is outside, and plus 1 is here. Let me simplify more 2 upon. Uh, this is 2 minus 1 is 1, my 1 plus x divided by x minus 1 and minus 1 is outside and this is plus 1. Again, we need to take the LCM in the denominator. So, I am doing here. So, f, f, x is equals to 2 upon in the denominator, I will take the LCM and the LCM is coming once again x minus 1. And this is 1 plus x and minus 1 will become, in the bracket I have to write, be careful. Because the minus is outside. So, 2 upon 1 plus x minus x plus 1 divided by x minus 1 and plus 1 is outside. So, here you can cancel x and x and 1 and 1 is 2. So, now we have 2 upon... 2 upon x minus 1 plus 1. When you move this up, you can write 2. This will be like 2, like 2 divided by 2 upon x minus 1. 
when you make it reciprocal, this will become x minus 1 upon 2. And 2, 2 will be cancelled out. So, final answer is coming only x minus 1. So, I am writing here x minus 1 and plus 1 is outside. So, 1, 1 cancel and it's coming x and we have this is the first like part B. Uh, find f inverse x. So, f inverse x uh, is very simple. We should have the equation of f of x. And like normally, uh, the students have learned that we replace fx, like x, fx is y, x with y and y with x. But I do, I do a little bit different. x, like 2 is, a is 2 and b is 1. y equals to 2 upon x minus 1 plus 1, making x subject 1 is moving here. x minus 1. Uh, we have the easiest method. I can make it reciprocal. 1 upon y minus 1 is equals to x minus 1 upon 2. We can do it. 2 will multiply. 2y minus 1 is equals to x minus 1. 1 will shift from right hand side and is becoming x equals to 2 upon y minus 1 and plus 1. And this, when we replace, this will become f inverse. And y will become x. So, by this way, we have done question number 7 of exercise 9.3. Now, question number 8, the function f and g, we have the function f and g now. And we have to write down the similar form expression for fg. fg means we have to substitute g in f. And so, g is 1 upon x. So, 2 1 upon x plus 3, it's your equation like 2 upon x plus 3. You can also take the LCM and write in the simplest form. There is no problem, but okay, if you want to write, you can write x is LCM. 2 plus 3x. The same thing you can write in question number 7 at the end to find the inverse. Second is gf. So gf means I will substitute f and g, the whole equation, in 1 upon x. Here, I will substitute the whole equation 2x plus 3 and that's we have done. This is gf and then we have f inverse to require. f inverse means f inverse we can write it directly how y equals to 2x plus 3. I copied the first equation and y minus 3 upon 2 is equals to x. So, the f inverse is coming x minus 3 upon 2, uh, then we are moving to our next is g inverse. g inverse means I have to write g first, 1 upon x, this is y, so y is equals to 1 upon x and x will be equals to, so f like g inverse will be is equals to, this y will shift down, so 1 upon x. So, we have all like required the A part, the first part we have done. Four things. Find the value of x for which like f of g is equals to g inverse. So, we got the f, like f of g is, is the first equation. 2x like 2 plus 3x upon x and g inverse is 1 upon x. So, 1 upon x, 1 upon x sometimes we can cancel out. But uh, here we need this, we can do it, like when we do the cross multiplication is 2 plus 3x is equals to, uh, actually you can cut because x is coming 0 also. So, 0 is not possible because 0 in the denominator cannot be, like, uh, is, uh, like it's not defined. So, I think so 2 plus 3x is equals to 1 and 3x is equals to minus 1 and x is equals to minus 1 upon 3 and we have done it. Let me check the answer of this part, question number 8. Question number 8, we have like all x is minus 1 upon 3. Because uh, x, uh, like here answer is coming right. So, next question is question number 9. In question number 9, uh, the function is given here. And for all the values of x except x equals to 1, because when you substitute x equals to 1, x minus 1 is 0. So, x, this value is not possible. This is not defined. Express the function f inverse. Okay. And 
f inverse is not defined. Okay, first of all, we need to find f inverse. So f inverse means I will write this y is equals to 2x plus 1 divided by x minus 1. Normally, the students, what they do, uh, they write here x and they write here y directly and they can make y as a subject. But actually, what uh, like normally, this is my way to, you, you can do use any of the method. We use the cross multiplication y x minus y is equals to 2x plus 1. If you want to make x as a subject, x should be in left hand side. So y x minus 2x equals to 1 plus y. And x is common because we have to make x as a subject. So x is coming 1 plus y divided by y minus 2. So the f inverse is coming, this y will become x. So here when you write x minus 2 equal to 0, so x is coming 2. So it means here x cannot be 2, like the value which is not defined is 2 here. So this is not equal to 2. So we have done the first part, we are doing part A now. We need to find f inverse 3, so just need to put the value 3 here. And 1 plus 3 divided by 3 minus 2 is coming 1. So it's coming only 4 and we have done it. In B part we have f of x is equals, equal to 4f inverse x. So it means the fx which is here 2x plus 1 divided by x minus 1 should be equal to 4 times inverse function is 1 plus x divided by x minus 2. When we do the cross multiplication, is coming 2x plus 1 with x minus 2, and this 4 plus 4x should be multiplied with this x minus 1. When we simplify, is coming 2x square minus 4x and plus x and minus 2 equals to 4x minus 4 plus 4x square minus 4x cancel out with this 4x and this 2x square and minus this is coming minus 2x square if this is minus is minus 3 and minus only minus 3x minus 2 and minus 4 is plus 4 is plus 2 is 2 so now x square we write take minus common so it's coming 3x. So factors are multiplied to get 2 and minus to get 3. So multiply to get 2 and minus to get 3 means we write 4x and minus x. So the common we take common in first two and last two. So 2x x plus 2 minus 1 x plus 2 and x plus 2 and 3 like 2x minus 1. So final answer is coming x is minus 2 and x is coming 1 upon 2 and we have done it. Moving to question number 10 now. In question number 10, uh, we have the function uh, like f of x is equals to 3 upon x plus 2 where it's written x is not equal to k and we have the first part find k. So remember when you want to find the value of k, this denominator should be equal to 0. So x is coming minus 2. It means k is minus 2 so that the in this equation, the denominator cannot be 0. So, k x is not equal to minus 2. This is like normally we find. In B part, they ask to find the fg. fg means I will substitute g in f. So, your equation of f is 3 upon x plus 2. In the place of x, I will write the whole value of like here dx which is 2x plus 1 when we simplify is coming fg is equals to 3 upon 2x plus 1 plus 2 is plus 3 and when you want to find this which value is undefined not defined i will write the denominator equals to 0 like 2x here i can write 2x plus 3 equal to 0 x equals to minus 3 upon t 2 means here you will write that x cannot be minus 3 upon 2. This is not the value which is not defined. Moving to C part is given f inverse of p is equals to g of 9. So we have to find f inverse first. 
So f inverse means I will write y is equals to this equation. y is equals to 3 upon x plus 2. x plus 2 means x is your subject now. So x is equals to 3 upon y minus 2. And when you take the LCM, it's coming y 3 minus 2y. And you can write this will become f inverse. And y will become x. This equation I will substitute here like 3 minus 2 times in the bracket in the place of x. I will write the value of p and g of 9 is 2 in the bracket. I will write 9. So this is 9 and this is p here. And we just need to simplify now 3 minus 2p equals to this is 18 plus 1 is 19 so 19 p 19 p and plus 2 p is coming uh, 21 p and p is coming 3 upon 27 means 1 upon 20 like 21 is 1 upon 7 so we have done it if you think my effort is useful for you and please like my video subscribe my channel once again i will say and please share with your friends thank you so much and have a nice day